Test Pilot Schools want students to fly a large variety of aircraft, so you see a lot of different things and a lot of different aspects and a lot of different characteristics as you go through the program. So the school owns about 25% of the airplanes that we use here. We have a long-term lease on about half of the aircraft that we use, and then we have short-term leases for about 25% of the aircraft that we bring in for specific exercises. Since we do both military and civil aspects of flight test, we need to have examples of both types of aircrafts. Supersonic aircraft-wise, the school here owns some Draken S-35 aircraft made by Saab. The backbone of our uh, military jet fleet is our Aeromachi Impalas. These are single-engine jet trainers, uh, dual seat in all cases. On our civilian jet side, uh, our backbone is a Sabre Liner. We have two Sabre Liners that we utilize. One is fully instrumented flying lab. It's got uh, seats for six workstations in the back. We also have a DC-3, Turbo DC-3 systems test lab. This is, again, a flying lab with uh, four set workstations can accommodate up to six students. Another one of our flying labs is our Merlin twin-engine uh, turboprop. This has been a flying lab here at the school for a long time. Six workstations in the back, each one with a uh, Pi software being displayed on a laptop computer. Another one of our flying labs is our GA8 Airvan. The Airvan uh, single engine, seven workstations in the back. We also got a brand new uh, Diamond 42 Twin Star that we just recently added to our fleet of aircraft as part of our modernization and technology refresh program. The Twin Star is unique because it brings uh, our first production FADAC controlled engines to the course. Uh, speaking of modern aircraft, we have four technically advanced aircraft. Three of them are Cirrus SR-22s. Most of these have uh, the advanced cockpits in the Garmin 1000 arena, although we have one with an Avidyne cockpit. Two of them are also equipped with enhanced vision systems for low light and night operations. We also do, with the Cirrus, we do an icing demonstration to show the effects of early icing on an aircraft and what it does in terms of flying characteristics, install characteristics, and performance. Our fourth technology advanced aircraft is a Cessna 182 with a Garmin 1000 cockpit also. We have also have a couple of single engine chipmunks that we use for uh, formation flying and spin training. One of the things we've added to the program recently, and this is a result of um, several student research projects, is our surrogate UAV, or optionally piloted aircraft, the Cessna 150. On the helicopter side, we have quite a few different aircraft. We have two BO-105s. BO-105s are fully instrumented. Also have two OH-58 Charlie models. These are also both fully instrumented. The school also owns a UH-1 uh, November. We use it for FLIR evaluations as a flying lab. We also use it for NVGs. And then it also gets some use as a uh, tethered hover. A student coming through the program is going to get a chance to see somewhere between 20 and 30, maybe even 40 different types of aircraft. Yeah.